Hey guys, Frosty here from the Lineage 1.5 server, uh, making a guide here covering uh, the levels and tiering system on our server. Characters can go from level 1 to a max of 115. There's many custom hunting areas on the server uh, suit to meet different levels and strength levels of characters. You could search the game guide on the website uh, to get a complete list of all the hunting zones. The server is unique in that it has different levels of tiers uh, that you can go through uh, as you play on the server. You'll start as a tier 1 player. As you continue to level up, you can go to tier 2, 3, 4, and uh, eventually 5, uh, which is currently in the works but hasn't been implemented to the game yet. So let's go through the evolution of tearing. Um, as you first start the game, you create your character, whatever class it may be. In this example, you, we'll use a knight. Uh, we level him from 1 to 100. Um, after that's done, we're going to complete the Reaper quest, which I'll describe later. After the Reaper quest is complete, uh, you will then become a Tier 1 Reaper. Reaper is a custom class. Uh, you're going you're gonna, to uh, level your Reaper from uh, level 1 to 100 again. Uh, at this point, I, I will recommend going to 115. I will describe that in a little bit. After uh, you have your Reaper to level 115, you're going to go ahead and uh, complete the Tier quest, which we'll describe to become a level, uh, I'm sorry, a tier 2 knight. After you've become tier 2, uh, we're going to level our character up again from level 1 to 100. We're going to repeat the reaper quest and then we will become a tier 2 reaper. Um, as you become a tier 2 reaper, you won't have to go all the way down to level 1. Instead, you'll start at level 51. You're going to go from 51 up to 100. We're going to complete our tier quest to then become a tier 3 knight. Uh, this process uh, repeats over and over through Tier 3 and uh, Tier 4 and then eventually Tier 5. Keep in mind that as you progress through tiers in the game that the experience penalty increases uh, on what tier you're on. So a Tier 2, 3, or 4 character will take a lot longer to level than a Tier 1. Let's touch briefly on leveling to 115. So the main purpose of this is to be able to maximize your character's stat points. Uh, it's important to know that you only have to level to 115 once. Otherwise, in order to tier or become a Reaper, you only need to become level 100. Let me take a moment to emphasize the point that if you're going to level to 115, you're going to want to do it during your first tier. If you wait till tier 2, 3, or 4, it's going to take much longer with the experience penalty to uh, get all the way up to 115. So do yourself a favor and get this out of the way early. It's also important to know that after you reach level 100, your percentage on the action bar will not read accurately. So in order to see what percentage of your level you're at, you're going to want to type in dash stats and it will display uh, your current percentage of your level completed. I'd also recommend taking the time to look on the L15 website under the stats guide for more information on allocating your level up stats as well as the 31 all stats video. Uh, which was uploaded by another player. Okay, let's take a minute to talk about the benefits to tiering. Uh, the first and probably most significant improvement is that you're going to have increased physical and magical damage to monsters. Um, the most uh, significant change is going to be at tier 2 where you uh, receive a 50 percent bonus. Uh, tier 3 would be 25, tier 4 is a 10 percent bonus, and uh, tier 5 is still in the works. These, keep in mind uh, when comparing this to different gear items that the damage bonus from tiering can be one of the most significant gains your character can make in the game. One of the other advantages to tiering is that you uh, are awarded elixir tokens uh, when you become a reaper and when you increase tiers. Uh, depending on how far into the tiering you are, you can receive either two or three tokens. It's important to note that these elixir tokens are non-tradable and bound to your character. Uh, you can spend them by going to Silver Knight Town at Warp 2 and talk to the NPC Lenore. Uh, when you click on her, uh, you can select Shop with Elixir Tokens and browse uh, the different elixirs that are available. Uh, they run anywhere from one to three elixir tokens each, and you can see here some of the options that are available for purchase. Let's talk a bit more about these elixir tokens. Um, in my opinion, you only want to use these to purchase either Ultra or Ultram Elixirs. Uh, they sound similar, but they have two different purposes. Uh, these Elixirs are the only thing that can push your stats past 31 to a max of 40. 
uh, when used they both raise your specified stat by one point and uh, they're very valuable and in high demand ultra elixirs cost three tokens and ultrams cost two the difference is that ultras can be traded and ultras ultrams cannot at this point it's important to decide whether you want to apply these stat points to your character or consider selling them to other players for gear that can uh, more greatly benefit you at this time in the game. With all the advantages to tiering, there are also several drawbacks to consider. Uh, the first and most evident is that your level goes back to either 1 or 51. Uh, with this being said, your hit points, mana points, and AC are going to be reset to low uh, default values. Uh, on top of that, there's going to be certain level restrictions on areas that you can hunt. And with the recent change, some areas are separated from lower tier players to higher tier players, making the monsters more difficult. Uh, the most significant uh, disadvantage is uh, that you're going to be not allowed to use certain gear uh, until you meet the uh, minimum level requirement for them. Uh, below is the uh, table of the levels for different uh, item classes, and you won't be able to use them until you uh, achieve that level once again. The primary uh, solution to this problem is by acquiring an opal. Uh, the Opal, you can get that from playing Pandora's Gem Box game on the L15 website. Uh, Opals are one of the most important gems uh, for new and old players to equip in the game. And uh, essentially what it does is it lowers the level requirement for your items, where you can year, use uh, higher leveled gear on a lowered level player. Opals can also be upgraded to increase their effectiveness. Uh, they go from anywhere from level 1 through 5, and the higher level that your opal is, uh, the more it drops the level requirement on your gear. Uh, included on here is a table showing uh, the opals 1 through 5 with the amount of levels it drops the requirement to. Okay, let's talk about uh, Reaper. So after you level your character uh, up to level 100, you have the ability to change uh, into the Reaper class. Uh, it has many benefits, including uh, the ability to use all the magic from the mage class, custom spells and buffs, uh, the same ranged bonus as elves, and increased uh, hit point and mana point caps. So let's talk about uh, how to become a Reaper. Um, what you do is uh, you need to be level 100, as earlier mentioned, uh, and you also need to uh, collect several items. What you're looking for are uh, ink, uh, the different soul shards. There's four different kinds, as well as a weakened spirit blade. Uh, you're going to need 100 of each soul shard and one spirit blade. Um, these are going to be combined um, and uh, turned into a charged spirit blade from the NPC Eliona at uh, Ivory Tower level 3. So let's jump in here and show you how to do it. So here we are at Ivory Tower at level 3 uh, at the staircase. We're going to talk to Eliona and uh, we're going to have to go to the Ivory Tower basement. So by selecting this, we're teleported down and we're going to be hunting um, any of the monsters down in this location. These monsters will occasionally drop the soul shards that we need until we get 100 of each. And we also want to go to the basement level 2 and 3 to hunt the Rift Guardian and the Demon for the weakened Spirit Blade. After you've, you've required all the necessary materials, you'll return to Eliona. Uh, you're going to click that you've uh, acquired the Spirit Blade and then select to charge the blade. After you charge it, it'll appear in your inventory. You double click it and you're back to uh, level 1 Reaper. In order to advance in tiers, uh, we need to collect three keys. The first key is going to be uh, the key to the forest. Uh, we can get this by going to Warp 6 uh, at Orc Town and hunting the high-level orcs. Um, all three keys are somewhat of a rare drop rate. However, uh, with enough time, you can get all three. The second key that we need is going to be acquired by going to the Chaotic Temple. Uh, we can hunt any of the monsters here in the Wasteland, uh, which will drop you the key to the Wasteland. The third key we need to acquire is... Uh, you get that by going to Forgotten Island and uh, again killing the monsters to acquire key to the island. After you have all three keys, we're going to go to Silver Knight Town, which is Warp 2, and we're going to talk to Lenore, the same NPC that handles the Elixir tokens. We're going to scroll down um, to the uh, tiering section and scroll down to uh, where it says uh, Open Pandora's Box. You'll get this item in your inventory, which you can double click, and then uh, you will have advanced to the next tier. It's important to note for players that are trying to go to Tier 4 that uh, you need to collect the lower and upper fragments of creation, uh, which are rare drops from some uh, monsters uh, throughout the game. Once you achieve these, you can turn them also into Lenore uh, to get uh, 
Ein Hassad's box, which you can double click the, to then become tier four. I hope this guide's been some help uh, to you players that uh, might have some questions on the leveling and tiering system of the Lineage 1.5 server. Uh, and thank you for watching.